next part we're going to create is the handle. Now there's lots of ways to create this. You could start it as a sketch of the profile and extrude it. I'm going to teach you a way to do it as a frame. So what we need to do is go and create an assembly with the sketches in it. So we hit our iPro tab and we want a new and we're going to select metric standard millimeter IAM. That's our assembly file and create. Now within here we're going to create a new part so we right click and create component and give it a name handle and we want to select not a stand IPT which that will give us imperial measurements we want to browse templates select metric and create a standard millimeter IPT click OK and click OK again now in this space we want to left click and we want to create the handle with a sketch so we right click and create a new sketch select a plane to begin our sketch now I'm going to start with a vertical line press escape right click I'm going to give it a dimension just to give us a spine there so that would be 240 okay now our next lines we're going to create curves using the hold down function on the mouse so if we right click and create a line we start at that point left click once drag it across now this is critical just left click it once and hold your left click down and you can drag it out and create a curve if you let go of your left click it places that curve for us then we want a line heading roughly down in this direction don't worry if it's not a tangent, we'll fix that later. So I'm going to zoom out a little. I'm going to left click there and hold that cursor down and drag out another curve. I'm going to go for a straight line, left click and hold that down and drag out another curve. And let go and then another straight line left click it's a bit tricky you might have to have a play with it as I said don't worry about those tangents we'll fix that later now what we want to do is go in and add some dimensions to this rough sketch so right click general dimension this line is 121 divided by 2 this line we want a dimension now you can see that it comes out as a vertical dimension. I actually want an aligned dimension. So I right click and select aligned and that will align it for me. Click that dimension in and I want it to be 192. Select that one. This line, the dimension is 15. And we also want a dimension from this edge to this edge and that is going to be 15 divided by 2 that will lock those in right now we can go in and apply a radius to these a radius 10 seems to work well for this um, frame function so we'll assign those on there okay now I'm going to go in and put the tangents in so if we tangent this line to that circle and it's already constrained so we cancel we'll tangent that circle to that edge you can see you've got a tangent locked in now and this edge to that circle it's already exists this circle to that line you can see that smooth that out this one to this one already exists and this one to this one that smooth that out for us okay now we need to apply some angles so I'm going to press escape 
right click general dimension we want an angle between this edge and this edge and that's going to be 81 degrees gonna pan up put a dimension or an angle between these two and that one is 135 degrees and between this edge and this edge and that's already locked it in at 126 so we're going to accept that one okay so now we've got our shape what we can do is actually mirror this rather than sketch it all again so we've select our mirror function and we're going to select the features we want to mirror and then the mirror line and apply and that will create a mirror in that sketch for us so we can hit done and then we're ready to finish that sketch that's part one, I'll show you part two